Hey guys, Pitt here. Um, today we're going to be going into trying to clean up our crash files for Daisy. This may wind up um, opening up a lot of memory on your computer and or get you back in a server that you've been trying to get into. Either way, it's a good thing, so we're going to do it. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our uh, local C and I'm going to go to my users, now my name, and this is you know basically what I play on all the time, so I want to view hidden items and you can see app data just appeared. So I'm gonna double click app data and I'm gonna click on local. In local, you will find yourself a daisy folder right here. What I usually do is I will right click and create a shortcut to daisy folder and I put it on my desktop. The reason for that is when you open your daisy folder, you're gonna find these guys crash folders every time you're joining a server leaving a server any any kind of custom server if it crashes daisy likes to keep a memory of it in this folder and this fills up a ton of space in your hard drive um, what i would do is normally once every two or three days i'll click this folder i'll check this and i will left click shift left click and i'll delete these folders you can also delete the script files that build up down here. See all these script files? So I'm going to go to the top script file, scroll down, and to this script file. Now it doesn't look like there's a lot of memory here, but it does add up. So we're going to delete that. So I deleted my local crash and script files. Now to make sure that this is all working properly, what you want to do now is you want to click this little arrow down here on the right you want to right click steam and exit steam and then you want to make sure this closes itself out completely and then you want to right click and empty your recycle bin 53 items cleared and now i can reopen steam again and my day z cache should be completely free and i will have opened up some memory so hopefully this will clear up a little bit of space on your pc and or maybe possibly get you back into the server that you've been trying to get on i hope this helps guys take it easy